In this video, we're gonna talk about a fragrance from Izumiyake. It is Or Asa from the L'Odyssey Pour Homme line. If you're interested, I'll see you in the video. Hi there, it's Peter from Centrail. On this channel, we talk about fragrances. Designer, niche, you name it, anything to do with fragrances. If you're into fragrances or you just wanna smell great, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the little bell button so you get notified of any further videos. If this is your first time on this channel, I wanna welcome you. If you're back, it's good to see you again. And now let's get into today's fragrance by Izemiyake. The Japanese fragrance designer or fashion designer Izemiyake really has knocked it out of the park with his fragrances. I have quite a few of his and they're really amazing. With fragrances reaching all the way back to the 90s, he's really giving us all a treat for our nostrils. With two new releases in 2020 alone, Fusion and Polaris, he's really smashing it in the fragrance community. I actually did a video on Fusion and Polaris a little while back. I'll link it in the cards if you wanna look at those new ones. In 2017, he launched a fragrance called Or Ensemble. It is a wonderful fragrance and I went online to read some of the comments of what people have said about this fragrance and it is really incredible. Let's just say that people love this one as much or more than the 2016 release Noir Ombre by Christophe Renault. Yes, Christophe Renault is the same guy that released Paco Rabanne, Lancome Tresor, a Bois de uh, Vetiver from Karl Lagerfeld and Scandal from Jean-Paul Gaultier. He's the nose that created some of those. But let's stop rambling about the perfumer and get into the fragrance. Before I forget, he also did One Million by Paco Rabanne. It's a really nice one, everybody knows it. Same perfumer. So the fragrance comes in a box like this, and some of you probably already seen it since it's 2020, and this one was released in 2017. My understanding it is it's a bit hard to get in the United States. Uh, hopefully it'll be a little easier for you guys sooner. But it comes in a beautiful box. On the back it says, a mysterious oriental eau de parfum combining nobility of incense with the intensity of natural spices and rich rose essence. So that's basically what you get, <laughs> very nice. And you just kind of open this right here and it slides out just like that. I'm gonna open it all the way. And the fragrance just kind of sits in there. It is a regular flocon, just like a lot of the other ones. Now, I did a, a review not too long ago of some Banana Republic fragrances and they also come in a little slide box like that, see that? Same sort of thing, just not as big because the, they're a little different. I just picked this one up. That's tobacco and tonka bean. It's a really good one. But anyway, so let's get back to L'Odyssey Pour Homme or Ensemble. So when you first spray this one, let's give it a spray. There we go. Good spray. Oh my God, this is so good. At first spray, the rose is going to be right there. But it's going to give it's going to give way quickly to the laptinum that's in there. And laptinum is a little bit more leathery and floral. As the fragrance moves away from the top notes, it slides into the incense and the pink pepper. The pink pepper gives it a slight and soft rosy note that stays with the fragrance pretty much throughout, and it also has a little bit of a herbal nuance. It's not a herbal fragrance, but you can tell it's definitely there. Lots of people smell this, and they have at some point smelled uh, Aqua de Parma Oud, and they think that these are very similar. However, not to my nose. Aqua de Parma Oud, I have it right here, is much more floral and it's a much lighter fragrance. If I were to spray Aqua de Parma Oud next to or Ensemble in the same room, you would not be able to smell anything else other than Aqua de Parma Oud. It will totally overshadow or Assan. It is much smoother, it is mu uh, smoother. It is much more, it's calmer than Aqua de Parma Oud. Aqua de Parma Oud is just a louder fragrance and it is much more 
crisp. I mean, you'd have to take the original fragrance from Aqua de Parma, you'd have to take it out and maybe then it would be relatively close. But if I were to spray this in the same room, you would not be able to smell or ensemble. So to me, they're not, they're not close. Now, why do so many people think that there is oud in Ize Miyake's fragrance? There is no oud in here. Well, it is the cumin. The cumin has a bit of an animalic, a slight animalic smell to it, depending on what kind of cumin you used. And it is an intimate sort of smoky scent as well. And you have smoke in there already. And so you have the cumin, the, the incense, and then you also have uh, a number of different types of woods in this fragrance. And voila, all together, if you combine those, I can see where some lesser experienced noses would think that there is oud in here. Would be nice if there were some oud in here. But those notes combined, the cumin with the incense and the wood in the base, fool some noses. And now you're like, oh my God, there's cumin in there. I don't like cumin. Cumin's not for me. Well, yes and no. Cumin, well done, will not stick out. And it's expertly done in this fragrance right here. You will not smell like cumin with this fragrance, I promise. The final notes in this one, actually, let's give it another spray. It's really nice. I like the opening. I don't mind rose at all. It's very, very pleasant. The final notes in here are going to be some cedar, some amber wood. and you have some sandalwood. There's also vetiver in here, but the vetiver is very faint. And the only time you're actually going to smell vetiver, let me see, I have it dry down on my hand, is if you take a very deep breath, you can feel the vetiver in it. But if you're just walking by, you're not, you're not going to smell the vetiver. You gotta take a deep breath in order to feel the vetiver. Is it Miyake Oranson? is a beautifully done, smoky, a little dark fragrance, super cozy and warm. I kind of wish it was a little bit more smoky. I wish it was a little bit more dark. That's what I was expecting when I bought it. It is definitely super beautiful and it, I'm get, gonna get a lot of wear out of it. But for me, it's, it could be a little bit darker and it could be a little bit more smoky and maybe even have some oud in it, it would be great. Also, the longevity and the projection on this fragrance is not quite where I wanted it. I wore this one all day, I spread it on about 7 a.m. and I got about a good two hours of projection out of it. But after that, it just kind of became a skin scent and it, on my skin, and I actually spread it on my, spread it right here, right here, and I spread it on the sleeves of my shirt to me, it only lasted about six hours. After that, I could barely detect that it was there. I mean, still, I can't smell it anymore and we're about at hour 10. So I wish the projection was a little bit longer and I do wish that it would just last more than six hours. Now, to add it in its defense, because I do like the fragrance and I don't want to be too negative about it at all. It's a great fragrance. It was today where I am, um, we are at about 60, between 50 and 60 uh, Fahrenheit, which is about 16, 14 to 16 Celsius. So it didn't, maybe it was just a little bit too cold for the fragrance, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it was very cold. Um, and I hope that it uh, does a little bit better when, I, when I, we get into the 70s. Maybe that's it. I would wear or Ensemble's to maybe formal events, dinners, dates, or going out for the evening. It's a great scent that will last about six hours, which is all you'll probably need for something like that. But I'm very glad I bought this fragrance. I'm also glad that I bought it at a discount. I paid under $100 for it. When this one came out, it was going for 150. And if I would have purchased it for 150 US, I would have been a little bit disappointed at its projection and longevity. But if you can get this one for under $100, it's a great buy and it's a beautiful, warm and cozy scent 
And it, if you like smoky scents, a little bit darker scents, I think this is a really good one from Izimiyake. Oro Sans has just the right amount of that smells so good with a little bit of mystery. <laughs> I'm Peter from Scent Trail. I hope you enjoyed this review of Is It Miyake's Or Also. It's a great fragrance. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, love, like, share, all those wonderful things. I'm glad that you were here. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice, and I'll see you soon. Until then, Centrail, out.